All right, Leo, your overall energy is patience and angel of balance. So you could be experiencing something with divine timing or trying to be patient here. Um, something could be taking longer than you would hoped. Uh, angel of balance. There could be something you're trying to keep in balance or not let kind of tilt you one way or the other here. Um, but I feel like you're being blessed with some kind of balance. So be patient. Something good is coming towards you. Uh, what is this person's overall energy? All right. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. That is the heart chakra. So this person um, could be ready to give and receive love. If they had blockages, they could be cleared up. Uh, what else for Leo's person that's coming towards them? Overall energy. Leo's person. Overall energy, please. This is good so far. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. I spoke too soon. Envy. All tied up. Walking away. Angel of love. Okay. Leo, you're trying to be patient. This person is walking away from a situation. Uh, there could be... Um, Envy, jealousy going on from outside of this connection. Oh, boy. All right, let's get into it. I was hoping it was going to be good. They could be leaving something behind. There could be somebody that's jealous or envious of you as well, Leo. I mean, how could they not be? You guys are always shining. All right, let's see. Current situation for this person coming towards Leo. Current situation. Yeah, there's definitely, they're leaving a, they could be going through a divorce. Yeah, I have Justice, Libra, Energy, Ten of Pentacles, and the High Priest. That I feel like this person's going through some kind of a divorce here. Ooh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Libra is also here. Um, what else? Current situation for this person. The Magician. So they're trying to manifest here. Oh, I just saw the Fool. It's the Fool. Aries energy. All right. So this person could be wrapping up loose ends here. I feel like they're trying to manifest you. They're trying to open up their heart, their emotions when it comes to you, but they could be going through a, a separation, a divorce, something like that. Uh, and that person that they're attached to is jealous, envious, something like that. Hmm, all right, the fool, what comes next? Taking a leap of faith, trying to manifest this. You're being patient. I don't know how long you can be patient for though. You guys aren't really the type to like sit and wait for somebody unless this is what you're feeling and that's why they're feeling it there could be an age difference here between the two of you doesn't have to be page of cups i feel like this is this young fun innocent youthful playful energy they want to take a leap of faith towards you leo they do commitment here This could be somebody you thought you were actually um, going to divorce for some of you. This could be somebody you are in separation with that's coming back. All right, let's see. What are this person's intentions towards you, Leo? What are their intentions? Four of Cups, Taurus. With the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Four of Wands, Three of Cups. If this person put you in a third party situation, um, see, I'm seeing it two different ways. Leo, you could be married to this person that put you in a third party situation. For others of you, this person's getting a divorce and coming towards a third party situation or, or coming towards you, leaving a third party. Sorry. Um, it could be a, an earth sign that they're leaving behind or turning their back front, back towards. I can't talk. What is going on? You may need to have a conversation with this person. Communication might be a little bit uh, broken or having the right, uh, the right words to say to each other here. Um, cause I'm, I feel like I'm picking up on that, like tongue tied energy. Three of Wands, waiting, 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 patience, waiting, waiting. 
You may end up walking away because you're tired of waiting, Leo. Oh, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Was this person juggling? Is this person a player? I feel like their intentions are to leave whatever third party it is behind and come towards you. But they're not... There's something about time, divine timing, keeping you waiting, something like that. What's blocking this? What's blocking this connection with Leo? What are the blockages? Divine timing. Divine timing. Yeah. Yep. Hanged man. Pulling your energy back. Gaining some kind of clarity of transformation from Three of Swords. Yeah, there's something divinely guided here going on, Leo. Some kind of transformation that's going to take place after some heartache and pain. There could be some sadness, loss, regret, remorse also going on here too. Maybe it just wasn't the right time. And we're going into the right time. I don't know. Let's see, how does this person truly feel about you, Leo? How do they truly feel about you? Six of Cups. See, you could have been the one in the commitment and they stepped out. Six of Cups. Strength, Leo, that's you. Two of Pentacles. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? This could be someone from your past coming back around. I'm getting a couple different storylines, so really place it where you see fit. They want to plant seeds with you, the sun, but there's some kind of sneaky behavior or manipulation. They could feel you're um, sneaky because you might walk away and, and go towards your happiness here. Ten of swords. They know they caused some kind of a painful ending. I want this to be like new love who's coming in towards you and I feel like this is a situation that's carrying on into this. Like my intention for this reading is what's new coming towards you. And I feel like you are either leaving a situation, getting a divorce, or this person's leaving a situation, getting a divorce and coming towards you, but it's somebody that maybe you already dated or have already been with, and there was a painful ending. I feel like you're gonna get an apology from this person. What's the outcome here? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? They could actually, if you are leaving this person, Leo, they could be jealous and envious. Just saying. All right, what's the outcome here for Leo and this person? Six of Swords, I don't know when that flipped. Moving on to Calmer Waters. Moving on from heartache and pain. Moving on from heartache and pain. From possibly a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, there is a lot of Earth sign. Earth energy, Queen of Wands, Aries energy. So somebody could be leaving a, an Earth sign, a, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo to go towards a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, or vice versa. Someone could be leaving a Capricorn Taurus Virgo to come towards you. Uh, Page of Swords, all right, watching, observing, communication, the star, Aquarius energy, healing, a wish come true, having hope and faith. What else for the outcome? What's going to happen here? Seven of Wands. Two of Swords. The Fool. You may, you may have started to walk away from this person. I feel like it's not done yet. The Tower. Maybe it is.
Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there could be a transformation. You guys are going to get on the same page and then healing is going to take place. Someone's perspective is going to change. Someone's going to gain clarity. There could be a tower moment between you and this person. I feel like maybe your patience is running thin because things were not balanced here. You could have decided to walk away and now they're like, oh, I can't lose uh, my Leo because they someone was stuck. Angel of love and then action. See, this person, this person might feel you disconnecting from them and that's going to kind of get them to move a little bit faster here because they don't want to lose you. So I'm, I'm sorry I got confusing. Take it how it resonates. Somebody's married. Both of you could be married. Both of you could be married together. Somebody's leaving a situation to, to come towards you. If you're leaving a situation to come towards somebody else or whatever, you know what I mean? But there's something something going on here i do see it working out between the two of you it's kind of a little bit of a bumpy ride but i do see healing happening a transformation where you guys are going to be on the same page and you are going to build together some kind of foundation some kind of stability or even rebuilding if, if you're married this person holds some kind of envy or jealousy though Yeah, so I don't know what that's about, but all right, what's the biggest obstacle in this connection for Leo and this person? Biggest obstacle. Participation. And the dream. Turning your dreams, visualizations, manifestations into a reality. So you can sit back and dream all you want, but is this gonna actually happen? you know, uh, participation. What is your part? What is your role? What is their role? What is their part? What, how did you get here? You know what I mean? Who did what? What happened? And figuring that out, you know, and fighting. Could have been a lot of fighting and arguments between you and this person. Patience is running thin. You may have felt you just had to walk away. It was too much. All right, what else do we have for Leo? I thought one fell. There we go. Summer, it's time to see the sunny side of things. Material world. Money, career, status. Third dimension, make your mark. You could be focusing on you right now. Work. We have denial. Divine timing. Somebody's in denial here. It could even be, Leo, that this person you called for a divorce and they're in denial. There's envy. Self-worth, value, self-esteem, confidence, be empowered by valuing yourself, vibration, energy, and positivity. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. All right. Ask yourself uh, a yes or no question in your head or out loud, whatever, and I will tell you the answer. Three, two, one. The answer to your question is yes. Ah, twin flames. That's why this could be so, so hard. This could be a lesson. Could be a twin flame. Could be a karmic. Eek. All right, I'm going to pull some letters. Could be their first, middle, last name, initial. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. If their uh, first and last name have the same letter, feel free to double what I pull because I only have one of each. All right. G, V, B, X, J, A, Z, W, N, D, Y, U, Q, O. So G, V, B, X, A, J, D, Y, Z, W, N, U, Q, O. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, first date, uh, days, weeks, years, months. Could be an angel number, could be an age. Place it where you see fit, all right? All right, we have 8, 9, 10, 12. 8, 9, 10, 12. So August, September, October, December. All right, zodiac signs could be sun sign, 
strong placements in their chart or something during that season. So like Leo season, for instance. What do we got? We have Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Pisces. Could be any sign, you guys. I have Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. Could be anybody. All right, but take it how you see fit. All right, Leo, that is what I have for you. Sorry, it's not any better. Hopefully next time it'll be better, but I feel like there is something with divine timing going on here and it will work out for you. So, all right, Leo, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below if you'd like, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Leo, love and light, take care.